when Black Country Communion broke up, it was right after I was in Paris in September or tour. I found out that um, the band was not going to tour on the last album. The, there was going to be a tour, then the, there was a can cancellation. So for me to stay in a band that doesn't tour was another year of my life that was, wasn't going to be happy. And then I decided nothing to be sad about. I'm just going to continue in a new project. Shall I do solo? No, I think I'm going to form a new band and with Jason Bonham. And we quickly decided we would move forward. We would figure out who it's going to be with and how it's going to sound. Black country in England is about a 1.1 million people live. It's the center kind of, you know, industrial, steel, coal, you know, Led Zeppelin there, Deep Purple, Judas Priest, Black Sabbath, very dark English in industry music. And I wrote a song called Solo with Andrew. And in the line, in the song solo, I sang a California breed acceleration. And I thought, California, it would be great to have something. California breed means breed for those people that needs means brotherhood. It means connection. And I live in California most of my life. Although I was born in England, I've been living in California for 42 years. So I'm a Californian. There's a lot of life on this album. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. It's um, again, I don't sing about things that aren't real. I sing about things that have happened to you, me, and our parents, and our brothers and sisters, and animals. I sing about celebration of life, and I also I I, I sing about fear. I sing about uh, acceptance. I sing about moving on, and I sing about now. I sing about how I'm feeling now, how you're feeling now. I, I, I'm singing that people can understand. It's human condition. You know, when I said that, it, it, <clears throat> I couldn't think of any other expression to say because when I hear the album compared to anything in what I've done in rock in the last 10 years, this album has got a certain movement that makes people want to move. You know, it's a, it's a, and more of an adolescent album than Black Country was also a great albums, you know. But this album has got a, it's got a movement that makes, it's going to want to make people dance. You know, it's sexual. I mean, I hate to use that word, but it's okay to use it, you know, so. But it's true. I, I felt. I feel it's a. Uh, it's. It's. It has movement. I hope not. The way we recorded this album was, the producer asked me to sing it, rather than play. I normally play and then sing later. He said, "Do let's do." He said, "Do you have the lyrics?" I said, "I do." Do you have the melodies? I said, "I do." So he said, Jason, you go play, Andrew, you go play, and Glenn, you go sing in the, just go sing for fun, just go sing. So we recorded each song twice. So after three or four days, we had recorded the song twice, 24 times, like there's 22 two tracks. And then I overdubbed the bass, which was a strange thing for me, because I like to play live. And then when I overdubbed the bass, I said, now I'm going to get something to eat. And we had something to eat. Then afterwards, I said, now I'm going to sing the album. He said, you sung the album. Because I remember singing it while the guys were recording and I, I remember certain moments thinking, oh, that was kind of cool. Because I, when I sing the first time, I've always been a first time singer. It's always first or second take. I never do anything more than three times. It's, it doesn't work for me. I always get it done. But there's some great moments on this album that we've kept like the vocal solo in Breathe or there's like, there's no guitar solo, but there's like a vocal solo. It's like, wow. Wow.
what Dave Cobb, the, the producer, the wonderful, greatest producer of the world, he captured me. They say, people say that I'm a live singer. I'm a live singer. And this is the livest vocal I've ever done. I want to tell you, they told my record company that I wanted to do face-to-face -face interviews in London, Paris, Cologne, and Berlin because these are the cities that were great for me last time with Black Country. He said, why can't you just do phone interviews? I said, because I want them to see how happy I am. I want to face to face with you rather than talk on the phone because it's important to know that this is a new brand. It's a new band. It's a new vehicle. It's my whole life is in this album. It's not just another Glenn album. It's not just a side project. This is my solo. Everything I've got in this is in here. It's really who I am. And it couldn't come across in a phone interview. So alive, I hope, look, man, I'm grateful. I should be dead. The things I've done, I, 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 I should... I'm, to be above ground, I'm breathing on my own without being in hospital is important because they, people say, how do you do it? How do you come back from black country and do something so expressive? Well, I'm not one to give in. I'm not one to say goodbye. I don't think, I don't think, I'm, I was having a, friend, a, a Christmas dinner with a good friend, you might know this guy. He said, I said to him, he said, do you ever think of retiring? I said, not really. He said, well, you can't retire because if you're a real musician, if you're a real musician, you cannot retire. Music has saved my life. In Black Country, I sang, I am a messenger. This is my prophecy. That's what I sang, and that was a big statement, that I am a messenger. They say, what, are you, what do you have a message? Well, 25 years ago when I was on drugs, I had no message. I, I was completely dead here. I was like a shark. Now I'm not dead and very much alive and very much in health. I, um, the message I have is very, it's common, it's love, it's, it's freedom, it's, it's a one, it's brother, sister, you know. It's, I believe, it's gonna sound like I'm a hippie, but I really believe in the message of love. I really believe that love is a very strong, strong message. I think music can help people. It can, it has helped many, I mean, I know this. I've worked with charities and I've worked with, I'm going to Japan to work with Save the Dolphins. And I, I do a lot of things that I like to do to help. And the message for me has always been to bring love. I'm going to sing two with Bruce Dickinson from I Made and I'm going to sing a song alone with the orchestra, which is a big song for me and John. It's the only song we ever wrote together. So it's three songs and it's for the people that have always wanted to hear these songs played with these people. They're going to get it. They're going to be a DVD made. It'll be presented properly. I'm doing this for one reason all out of love and I, I've actually broke my calendar and to break away to do it um, other people I don't know why they haven't done it but I did it because I get to celebrate his life like I did with Ronnie Dio when Ronnie Dio died I get to celebrate Ronnie and, and of course it was my pleasure I have great memories of John he was the reason I joined Deep Purple he was 10 years older than me and he was like a father figure to me and I before he died, we became very close friends, and, and um, I have to celebrate him. I have to be there, so I'm there. This is important. That have lived the life that I have lived and almost died, like Stephen and I, and Slash, and Duff. Yeah. He's still going. I have a very select group of friends in LA. LA is a huge town, 24 million people. But there's a small group of us that are, for all intents and purposes, uh, use drugs and drank and should be dead. And, and we, 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 we get together, you know. Stephen is, Tyler is, 
is a remarkably gifted, talented man who is a sweet human being. And, 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 and I get a chance to surround myself with the people I admire for their lifestyle, not for their music. Uh, I, I, like, I love Stevie Wonder. He's a friend of mine, not just because he's a great singer, but the way he treats his fans and the way he treats his family rubs into my heart and it shows me that I can do the same with my family. American. 100%. Love England. I was born there, but I've been in, in LA for 42 years. California. <laughs>